Morning everyone, welcome back to uh, Pilates Anywhere. Um, this is week three of our lockdown. This is Easter Monday. So I just want to say congratulations on um, continuing with your exercises. For those of you who joined us, welcome. And um, just keep exercising. I release three videos a week and um, we're just going to keep going through with this together. Um, today's focus is going to be on a double leg stretch, single leg stretch, crisscross. And if we have enough time, I'm really liking to get into spine stretch. So, as usual, we stand with our feet parallel, fist width apart from toe to heel. I want you to grow tall through the crown of your head. I want long collarbones. I want your shoulder blades kissing at the back. Today, I'm going to bring awareness of your hands. Um, with a lot of our work that we do, our shoulder girdle closes a bit from the chest area. So I want you just to be aware of your hands. I want your hands to sit on the side and that comes from that shoulder blade kiss at the back. So I want that length. So just be conscious there. Growing tall through the crown of the head, I want you to inhale through your nose, preparing for option for the lungs. And it's a lateral Pilates breath into your armpits, not into your shoulders. So we inhale. And as we exhale through the mouth, the belly button goes to spine and we knit the bottom of the ribs. Inhale for me. And as you exhale, belly of button goes to spine, we knit the bottom of the ribs, we just focus a little bit on our feet. Are our feet parallel? Are they fist width apart? Inhale. As you exhale, you nod your chin to chest, you have a look at your feet, you confirm that they're parallel. All ten toes are active and you peel the vertebras down one at a time as you go into your roll down, slow and controlled. We stay there, we inhale, we exhale, we round the lower back, we stack the vertebrae as we come up, we go lower back, we go mid back, we go upper back, we go neck, we grow tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale, nod your chin to chest, peel the vertebrae down slow and controlled as we go down. Allow the body to pull, upper body is pulling you, head is pulling you, inhale, exhale, we come up as we stack those vertebrae. we go lower back, we go mid back, we go upper back, we go neck, we go tall through the crown of the head, inhale, exhale, as we nod the chin to chest, we peel the vertebrae down, slow and controlled, head is heavy, upper body is heavy, we Pause over here. We take both hands, we interlace them behind the left Achilles. We bend the left leg. We exhale as we straighten the left leg against the resistance of the hands. We inhale as we bend. We exhale. We feel a lovely, delicious, nervy stretch up into that sit bone. Inhale as we bend. We exhale for three. Feel that stretch. Inhale. As we bend, we go for one more. We exhale for four. We hold the stretch for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we take the right hand over the left hand and we just cup. So now we're stretching the right lateral section. Can you feel that stretch as we hold for five, four? three two one bend your knee brush your fingers onto the mat interlace both hands behind your right achilles as we exhale we straighten against the resistance of the hands inhale as we bend exhale for two inhale as we bend exhale for three feel that delicious stretch into the sit bone inhale as we bend we go for one more we exhale for four we feel that beautiful delicious stretch into the sit bone for ten nine eight seven six five four three two we take the left hand over the right hand and we just get that lateral stretch particularly of the lat as we hold for five four three two one bend your right knee brush your fingers onto the mat knees are bent 
we round the lower back and we stack the vertebrae slow and controlled as we come up lumbar thoracic neck cervical and we're going to tall through the crown of the head taking our hands behind our head so we're almost um, envisioning the popping of a champagne cork so we hold over here behind our head elbows are wide shoulders are down belly button to spine we connect the bottom of the rib and the hip and we're going to do a tilt as we go to your right we inhale with your left elbow you draw a line on the ceiling you find your left oblique as you exhale back to center and we square off the shoulders we inhale to your left we find your right oblique your right foot stays implanted as we exhale back to center we inhale as we exhale we find the oblique to square us off we come back to center we inhale to your left find your right oblique exhale back to center we inhale as we find that oblique we exhale back to center we go for one more we inhale to your left the elbow stay wide we've drawn a seating with our right elbow we exhale back to center using that oblique we pause we have a soft peach under the chin imagine you're popping that champagne cork we're going to double pulse to your right we keep the hips and the knees to the front imagine you've drawn a little smiley face on your knees and we exhale pulse pulse inhale to center to your left exhale pulse pulse inhale to center to your right pulse pulse elbows stay wide as we exhale pulse pulse inhale to center exhale pulse pulse inhale to center one more exhale pulse pulse inhale to center we grow tall we hold for five for four giving that nice lengthening in the spine two and release lovely i want us to go into our tippy toes with a small little heel just getting that balance we're challenging the balance of the ankle your hands may be in front just to offset your center of gravity as we hold. Now we stay here. Belly button goes to spine. We connect the bottom of the rib, the 12th rib, and the hip. So we zip it up. And we're going to just do a little bit of squats. I want your kneecap running in line with your second toe. Inhale down. Exhale up for one. All 10 toes onto the ground. Exhale up for two inhale down exhale up for three keeping the heels up inhale down exhale up can you feel how the ankles are having to adjust we're just challenging them and there's lots of um wiggling going around three more inhale exhale up two more inhale exhale up last one inhale we just pause at the bottom we hold for five four three two now we stay here we drop the heel exhale up for one drop the heel exhale up so this stays connected at all time drop the heel exhale up for three drop the heel exhale up for four drop the heel exhale up for five drop the heel exhale up for for six drop the heel exhale up for seven last one drop the heel and eight we hold it there we come into full extension of the body so now we lengthen heels are still up drop the heel exhale up for one big toe on the ground drop the heel exhale up for two can you feel the wobble drop the heel exhale for three we keep the connect for four lots of challenge of the reception of that ankle as we come up for five we do three more drop the heel six drop the heel seven last one drop the heel eight hold for five four three two and release beautiful onto your backs getting ready for pelvic curl up so we lie here if you've just joined us the setup i like to use is that i like the heel to be a foot from the sit bone the feet are parallel to each other from toe to heel and they're about fist width apart so we lie here soft peach under the chin sorry 
Hands are next to the side, long collarbones. Belly button to spine. Inhale for me. As you exhale, we're going just into a pelvic tip. So we're just tipping pelvis, coccyx to nose. Inhale on the pause. Exhale as we go down. Inhale. Exhale. Tip the pelvis up. Inhale on the pause. Exhale as we go down. We go again. Inhale. Exhale. Tip the pelvis up. So we're just mobilizing that lower back. Inhale on the pause. Exhale as we go down. For three more. Inhale. Exhale up. Tip the pelvis. Inhale on the pause. Exhale. And we go down. Inhale. Exhale. Tip the pelvis. Just giving that shortening. The empty soup bowl effect. Inhale, exhale as we go down. We go for one more. Inhale, we exhale as we go into a pelvic tip. We just hold it there. Now, I want you to imagine you can bring this right and left hip bone closer together on the exhale as we exhale. I want you to imagine this lower rib, the 12th rib and the hip bone can get closer. We hold it. Inhale, exhale, tip the pelvis up, peel the vertebras one at a time. As we go up, we have height, we have length. Straight line from your shoulders through your hips into your knees. Inhale, exhale, we go down from the chest bone, through the mid spine, through the lower spine, through the pelvis, send the coccyx down long. Inhale, exhale, tip the pelvis up, peel the vertebras down one at a time. We go up, we articulate up, straight line from the shoulders through the hips into the knees. Soft peach under the chin. Inhale. Exhale. We go down from the chest bone, through the mid spine, through the lower spine. Send the pelvis down long. Inhale. Exhale. Tip the pelvis up. Peel the vertebras as we go up. Inhale. Exhale. We go down through the chest bone, through the mid spine, through the lower spine, through the pelvis. Send the coccyx down. When we go down, we never arch the back. Okay? So the back doesn't come off of the mat. If you see sunshine under the back, we are not going. It's going to be too much extension. So I want you to keep your imprintation as you return. So we tip the pelvis up, peel the vertebras one at a time. We have height, we have length. Inhale, we go down from the chest bone through the mid spine, through the lower spine. So we're articulating down. Once the pelvis hits and the coccyx goes back to its normal position, we stop. We do not go into extension. Inhale, exhale, tip the pelvis up, peel the vertebras one at a time. As we go up, we stay. We do a body check. Is there a straight line from my shoulders through my hips into my knees? Imagine I come to you now, pull your knees even further away. We push where the hamstring and the glutes attach. We connect, we hold for 10, 9. Eight. Now, imagine you can bring that right and that left hip bone together a bit more. So I'm closing up for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale. We go down from the chest bone, through the mid spine, through the lower spine, through the pelvis, send the coccyx down long. Lovely. So staying there, I want you to bring your hands behind your head and we're getting ready for chest lift. The chest lift progresses into the chest lift with rotation. And the chest lift with rotation has got quite a nice uh, component of it. It's going to go into our crisscross. So I really like to teach segmentally so you can see the progression. Inhale, elbows stay wide. Lower back deep onto the mat. Soft peach under the chin. As we nod the chin to chest, we exhale up. The elbows stay wide. We inhale higher. We exhale as we go down. Slow and controlled. We keep the elbows wide. As we nod the chin to chest, we exhale up, inhale higher, and exhale down. As we nod the chin to chest, we imprint that back deep into the mat. We exhale up, inhale higher, and exhale down. As we come up, nod the chin to chest, exhale up. Inhale higher, 
and exhale down. So the head is heavy in your hands here. Your neck is doing no work. As we exhale up, inhale higher, and exhale down. Elbows stay wide. Exhale up, inhale higher, and exhale down. Exhale up, inhale higher, elbows stay wide, and exhale down. We go for four more. As we exhale up, I want you to imagine as you inhale, that I'm standing in front of you and I'm pulling you up with a string onto your chest bone. And exhale down. Lower back stays in front of belly button to spine. As we exhale up, the ribs knit, we inhale higher. We exhale down. Two more. Nod the chin to chest. Elbows stay wide as we exhale up. We inhale higher. We exhale down. We go for one more. As we exhale up. We inhale higher. Now we pause. So your eyes are in line with your kneecaps. And I know you've had lots of Easter bunnies and lots of eggs and lots of hot cross buns. The elbows stay wide. And now we're going to pulse. Exhale. Exhale, 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 five, four, belly button deep, three, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one, gently release, throw the legs over wide, throw the arms overhead, and I just want you to stretch, enjoy that stretch, now the lower back lifts, because we're stretching, we hold, I want you to imagine an inhale, and just try to touch whatever's closest to your fingertips. May it be a wall, if you're in the garden, may it be a tree. And as you exhale, I want you to think long with your toes. As you exhale, bring your hands into T, palms are up. Just be conscious that your right hand is in line with your right shoulder girdle. And your left hand is in line with your left shoulder girdle. So we stay there. We imprint the lower back. We bring right leg up into the bent position. Left leg goes into tabletop. So inhale, tip your toe. Exhale up for one. Inhale, tip your toe. Exhale up for two. Inhale, tip your toe. Exhale up for three. Inhale, tip your toe, exhale up for four. Inhale, tip, the knee stays bent at 90, that comes from the hamstring. As you inhale, tip, you exhale up. I want you to imagine sticky toffee. Inhale, toe gets stuck on the mat, exhale up against the resistance of that sticky toffee. Inhale for seven, exhale up. Inhale for eight. Exhale up. Keep that back in printed. Inhale for nine. Exhale up. Last one. Inhale for ten. Exhale up. Bring the left foot down. Lower back's deep imprinted. We go right foot up as we exhale. So belly button stays imprinted. We inhale, tip. Exhale up. Inhale, tip. Exhale up. Inhale, tip, exhale up. As we inhale, tip, we exhale up. Inhale for five, sticky toffee, exhale up. Inhale, keep the back imprinted, exhale up. Remember that internal resistance for seven. Inhale for eight. Inhale for nine, last one. Inhale, for 10, pause. Now we bring left leg up to meet the right leg. The knees are at 90, the hips are at 90. The lower back is deeply imprinted. Hands are still out into T, we're going to do a little rotation. Inhale to your left, your right leg comes up. Your right knee and your left knee are skewered together. We exhale up. We inhale to about 45 degrees. We find that left oblique. We exhale back. We must pause here because if we don't pause, we use momentum. We don't want momentum with muscles. We want the muscles to activate. 
Inhale to the left. Keep your right shoulder down. Find that right oblique. Exhale up. Inhale to your right. Find your left oblique. Exhale up. Inhale to your left. Right shoulder stays down. So we're doing a nice stretch here. We're using the oblique to return us back to center. We pause. Inhale to the right. Keep that left shoulder down. Exhale up. We go one more each side. And we inhale up. Exhale. Last one. Inhale to the right. Left shoulder stays down. And we exhale up. Pause. Bring both legs down. And now we get ready for chest lifted rotation. So there's a component here that I'm after today to help us with our um, crisscross. So elbows stay wide, belly button to spine. We exhale up, we inhale higher, and now we stay. This is the height. As we exercise in the rotation, be careful that you don't sink. Okay? So we stay up, elbows stay wide. We exhale, looking just past the left outer thigh. So it's a small movement. Inhale to center. Exhale, just past the right outer thigh. Inhale to center. So it's really tiny. Exhale, elbows stay wide. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. So I'm just going to pause you. Imagine you're lying on a broomstick and you're just rotating slightly. So it's a small movement. I really want you to think of tiny as we're coming. Okay? So that's what we're looking at. So in that position, let's carry on. Exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Don't sink. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Elbow stay wide. Inhale to the left. Exhale to center. Now keep that back imprinted as we inhale to the right. Exhale to center. One more each side. Inhale to the left. Elbow stay wide. Inhale to the right. Inhale to center. Pause at center. We hold for five. Four, three, two, one, graciously lower. Give yourself a hug and you just say, thank you, body, for everything you do for me. And we just hold it there. As you inhale and you exhale, bring your knees just a little bit closer as you give yourself a hug. I want you to send your left leg long and keep your hands onto your right shin, just giving yourself a stretch, glutes, lower back, bit of hamstrings as we hold. The left leg, the ankle bone stays in line with the hip joint, and I want you to focus on keeping that left leg straight. I don't want this bend, I want it straight. That hip flex is also a bit involved here. And we send the right leg back. Bring the left leg in. As you exhale, you give yourself a hug. So we keep this hip flexors um, elongated. Your right foot is in line with your right hip joint as we hold. Stretching into the left hamstring, left glute, and left back. Beautiful. So. We come back into the bend position. This is what I was after today. This is my goal. We're going to inhale. As we exhale, we come up. We're looking at our kneecaps. Right leg comes into tabletop, left leg from the tabletop. And I want you to hold onto your shins. So, so what I find, and this is if we don't get this position right, we don't come high enough into the V. So I'm not very strong in my abdominals. I'm using a lot more upper body. So don't be shy to pull yourself up. Use your shins, which are parallel to the ceiling, to come up. We shoot out into V, biceps to ears. We exhale as we come around, we hold again. So what I love about this, lots of shoulder mobility, eyes to thighs. Inhale, shoot into V. Exhale as we come around, we hold, we get up. Shoot out into V. Exhale, we come around, we hold, we pull up, shoot out into V. Exhale, and now that back stays imprinted for two more. Shoot out into V. We come around. So the higher my lift, the better my V. Shoot out into V. 
we come around we go for one more shoot out into V on the inhale exhale come around fourth send the right leg long we interlace the hands onto the left shin so I want you to imagine we've got a broomstick from toe to toe as we exhale we come we rotate we rotate we rotate we rotate we rotate for two more we rotate for one more we rotate now we make it one harder interlace the hands behind the head opposite elbow to opposite knee for one for two for three sticky toffee on our toes broomstick for two more for one more that is six give yourself a hug and say thank you body for everything you do thank you body for being forgiven to me as we hold I want you to exhale and I just want you to give yourself a pull up on the exhale so we're going to go into rolling like a ball but just for position change inhale exhale inhale exhale when you have enough momentum you'll pop up into that seated V as we come up beautiful we're going to three roll downs we stand tall on our mat our feet are parallel we grow tall front collarbones long inhale exhale nod your chin to chest peel the vertebras down one at a time slow and control and i just want you to secretly congratulate yourself and say well done on the time invested in myself in my body and in my health inhale as we exhale around the lower back we stack the vertebra slow and controlled we come up lumbar mid upper neck we grow tall through the crown of the head inhale exhale nod your chin to chest feel the change in the body where the body has worked where the body is more supple so more mobile inhale exhale we come up we round the lower back as we stack lower back mid back upper back neck head we grow tall through the crown of the head we go for one final roll down of the day inhale exhale chin to chest as we stack those vertebras down we allow the natural traction of the body to take place head is heavy arms are free upper body is heavy we stop there inhale and before we come up we just say thank you feet for everything you do for me exhale and we stack the vertebras down as we come up we articulate lower back we articulate mid back supersonically slow articulate upper back we articulate neck we grow tall through the crown of the head thank you for joining me have a wonderful day.